Ohika really is the perfect venue to have your wedding. Ohika is the fairy tale for every bride. Everyone always remembers going through the gate, driving through the long driveway, and going into the courtyard and seeing Ohika for the first time. First of all, they're not expecting to see what they see, especially where it is on Long Island and New York. Uh, it's certainly something that you would expect to see in Europe. It's one of these places that if you have your wedding here, not only do you remember it, but all of your guests remember it. Hi, I'm Nancy Merton, and I am the Director of Advertising, Marketing, and PR at Ohika Castle. Ohika was built in 1919 by Otto Hermann Kahn, who was a German financier. He was uh, quite a, a big man uh, in, in New York City. He was actually known as the King of New York. He was a very generous man, obviously a very wealthy man. He built Ohika as his playground uh, to enjoy the 1920s, the Gold Coast era. He liked to party, so he would uh, invite a lot of his friends and famous uh, dignitaries and celebrities of that day, uh, including Enrico Caruso. It was also his family's summer home and uh, weekend retreat uh, from New York City. Well, he built Ohika on the largest hill on Long Island. He actually built the hill to make it the highest point on Long Island. It's also the second largest private home in the U.S. Uh, it was then and it still remains today. Uh, it was originally 109,000 square feet. Uh, we've now added a terrace room, so now it's 115,000 square feet. Otto was a German Jewish man, and so he was shunned from a lot of the country clubs. So he built a big castle, and he also built the golf course that surrounds it. Otto died in 1934 of a heart attack, and Addie Kahn, his wife, uh, sold the property off, and Ohika became uh, the New York Sanitation Department retirement home, and then it was the Merchant Marine Radio School for the Marines, and then Ohika was vacant for about 10 years, and that's when a lot of Teenagers hung out in Ohika and had a lot of fun and lit fires to keep warm. And when my father, Gary Milius, bought the estate in 1984, he really wanted to restore the estate back to its original grandeur. So I think that really uh, makes us different from any other venue. And of course, that has a lot to do with the estate itself. Uh, and that our guests always feel like not only it's their wedding day, but that they feel like they're in a home and that it actually is their castle for the day. Ohika only has one bride a day. We actually have a fairly strict no two brides shall meet rule here. Uh, so if you've, you're the bride of the day, then no other bride will be at Ohika. If you really wanna go all out and have your wedding here, you can book your wedding here at Ohika, have your ceremony here. You can book all 32 guest rooms. And then you can have a, a hot breakfast the next morning. Our brides and grooms can stay overnight, and they usually stay in one of our one of our four bridal suites that we have. Uh, the one that they uh, tend to choose right now overlooks the formal gardens. It's got two balconies, uh, a king size bed, two bathrooms, uh, one with a clawfoot tub and a walk-in shower, and uh, two sitting areas. And it's actually the suite where Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher had their second anniversary. Another really important factor for my father, Gary Milius, is the food and service that is uh, prepared and served here. So all of our service is white glove, and our food is above and beyond uh, what you would expect from uh, a caterer. The quality of food is so much like a restaurant that we actually now provide restaurant night. Being part of the family, obviously I have um, a very large connection to the estate uh, emotionally as well. Um, I'm very proud of my father to see what he's been able to accomplish. Uh, he fell in love with Ohiko when he bought it back in 1984. He just said, I have to have this. It's been a long road. It's been $30 million of uh, repairs and restoration, and, and it's still ongoing. Truth, Ohika is exactly what it was supposed to be. Uh, and it was supposed to be a place to enjoy and, and uh, entertain. Actually, the first wedding that ever took place here was Otto Kahn's daughter, Maud Kahn. It's really nice to, again, keep up that tradition, continuation of having new brides here um, every weekend. 